Number Arizona seven, is kicking off turn. first, and we're ready to get this game underway. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. Makes it to the 34. From their own 34-yard line. Second down. And he's level at the 32-yard line. That was well defended by this defense. The offensive line is so concerned with their penetrating abilities that these linebackers are able to roam free and make plays like that. Baby, that's a baby Caught and is quickly shoved out of bounds. They just inch past the marker. Yeah, it looked like he got it just by the nose of the football. From their own 37-yard line, first down. Nice run to the outside. to around the 45. First and 10. Ball on the 45-yard line. And now he pitches it. Gains his way to the 29-yard line. So with that run, they pick up another first. Just a nice job again up front by the offensive line. They're doing a good job of neutralizing the defensive front, and it's allowed them to move the ball down the field. First down, 10 to go. Ball in the 29. Play fake and looking to run. He's at the 20. Right down at about the 15-yard line. This is the eighth play of this drive. They'll bring him down around the 17-yard line. Two-yard loss for the halfback. That's a loss of two yards on the play. That'll bring, That'll bring up, up second, second and 12. 12. It's second and 12. Ball on the 17. All right, D, let's go. All right, D. Ready. Red 18. Red. Hot 18. They go to the left for a nice game. This is the 10th play of this drive. He's scrambling. And he's going to run this one in. Touchdown. He splits the uprights with the extra point. A 10-play, 75-yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. Boy, this offense right now is just being physical, really controlling the line of scrimmage, and it's opening up some nice big lanes for the running backs. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Wildcats and their ground game's always been sensational. It's not always one guy, Herbie. Sometimes they've got two or three that can carry the load. And that's what makes it so tough for this defense, is you're not focusing in on just one guy. You're focusing in on really an entire scheme. And because of that diversity, I think it makes it more of a challenge. And you got to be better tacklers in the open field. And, and I think that's really what they've stressed all week, is Goes over the middle, intercepted. And down he goes, right around the 26-yard line. Spectacular play there by the linebacker to come away with that interception. I don't even think the quarterback saw him on that play. He was right there waiting for the ball. It's first and 10. Ball on the 26. Air Force is up by a touchdown. Mark 
And he hits him hard at the 15-yard line. And the tailback broke that one for a very nice game. Give the offensive line some kudos there. They blocked very well up front to create the holes for this back. Here we go. Line 80. Grabs a pitch, looking for the corner. Nice run there as they work the outside. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Tackle right around the six-yard line. The back gets three on the carry. It's a pretty good play here by the junior safety stepping up and making a good tackle on the ball carrier. by seven and looking at first and goal. They go right back to him, and this time they get him in the backfield. The defense was able to get really good penetration and drop him short of the line of scrimmage. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Air Force here, here up I seven go. points. He's taken down at the five. They get three yards on the play. The offense is trying to get the ball into the hands of the halfback here, and he did a pretty good job of getting a few yards, but the defense was just swarming to the ball right there. Air Force can make this a two-possession game with this field goal. He gets it up, and it splits the uprights. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Excellent kick. And they can forget about returning this one. They need to show a little giddy up now because if they don't start eating into this deficit, they could easily fall out of the game. He fights forward to about the 26. Throws and it's incomplete. But he must have hurried there because his receiver was wide open. There was no need to rush that one at all. From their own 26-yard line, it's third down. And they get the sack. The offensive line has to at least slow the guy down a little bit. He was in there in no time. So no luck on that drive as they go three and out. And we've reached the end of one. Air Force has got a 10-point lead. And we're ready for more football here in quarter number two. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. So he managed to get a few yards on the run back. Yeah, but I'll tell you, Brad, with so much traffic in the middle there, it really makes it tough to break free. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead. And on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. And they'll get him in the backfield. Nothing doing that time. Defenders stayed home. The blocking wasn't there. And down he went. So it's second and 14. Ball on the 39-yard line. Check 33. Check 33. Set. Wait. 
And they make the stop at the 36-yard line. A little trickiness going with the same call again. Everybody on the defense, though, stayed home, and they stopped that play for negative yards. Stop a good combination. From the 41 yard line, first down. He's at the 30. That's a great tackle at the 20 yard line. yard line. Gain of one yard. That, that makes, makes it second, second and eight. eight. It's second and eight. Ball on the 19 yard line. That's another first down, Brad. Right now, you can just really feel and sense the rhythm that this offense is in. Their ability to pick up first downs, just pushing this defense further and further down, back deep into their own territory. He makes it out to maybe the seven-yard line. About a yard there on the quarterback keeper. And he's brought down there by the senior at linebacker. That won't be the last time today we'll be talking about this young man. Here's the eighth play of the series. Ready! Green 88! Green 88! And he is drilled at the 11. That makes it third and goal. Well, it's third and goal, and they're 10 yards out. I hope you brought your left, because I'm about to take you to school. Hey, check like 33. Check like 33. <laughs> He tackles him hard at the one. Ready! Light 80! Light! Motion, motion, motion! Check, check! Eagle! Touchdown, Air Force! He makes the PAT, a 10-play, 56-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. Brad, that's one of those drives that can just tear your heart out. They can really demoralize a defense when they drive the ball down the field, and a lot of the yards came on the ground. They line up to kick this one away, and he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. I think I can count on one hand the last time I saw this good a defensive performance where you had a chance for a shutout. Are you kidding me in college football today with the spread and the running quarterbacks and all the speed and space? These guys got a chance to put up a shutout. minutes to go in the half. He fights forward to about the 29. The running back gets a yard, maybe less. The Falcons will use their first time out of the half.
He really got a hold of that one. He's tackled to the 38-yard line. The Falcons are just cruising through this first half, Herbie. Really a comfortable lead here. Yep, but still a lot of football left to be played. they got to remember that it's a four-quarter game, and even though that first half went pretty well, things can change in a hurry. So now the offense comes back out, hoping for the same success they had on their last drive. You know, when this defense went over to the sideline, based on the way they've been playing so far, this defense coordinator has got to be living. He's got to get in their face. He's got to challenge them. He's got to get their emotions going. Because when you play defense, it's not just about X's and O's. It's about attitude and playing with a lot of confidence. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Now he tries to buy some time. He's at the 40. Inside the 30. Brought down at the 12-yard line. And that one's going to drive the defensive coordinator absolutely crazy. This kid is so dangerous. Brad, you're exactly right. The defense has to be sitting there asking themselves, how are we going to stop this guy? Tackled for a loss. for a loss behind the line. Loss of two yards on the play. That'll bring up second and 12. From the 14 yard line, it's second down. Come on out here, come get some. Come get some. Come out here. Come green, some. green 95. Green motion, 95. Motion. Across the middle, caught it. Touchdown. play ever developed nicely. Well, it's all about the receiver on this play. He beat his man off the line and then ran a perfect route. All he had to do after that was make the catch. And he converts the extra point. A four-play, 62-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. The Wildcats know, I think, that at some point, they just have to do what they do, even if it's not working right now. If they can get it going in the second half, it should really improve the ball game in the offense. Well, the offensive line, I think, also has to be accountable here. Uh, we look so much to our star players, and we always want them to put up big numbers. But to me, the two go hand in hand. When a running back's going to have a great game, the offensive line deserves some credit. When a running back's struggling, you got to look at that offensive line and say, fellas, you got to help me out. We're not going to change or deviate from this game plan. We need to be able to change this game around, and it starts up front with the offensive line. Most complete big loss. Loss of about six. This defense is fast enough that they can create negative yards on completed passes. So the offense might want to consider that next time they try that play. From their own 19-yard line, it's third down. He fights forward to about the 19. Picked up a yard of anything on that run. Air Force will take their final timeout. This is a great punt blocking team, and it looks like they're going to try to get to this one. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. Oh, man, did he take a hit. It's still only the second quarter. We've got a lot of football left, but I've got to say, this one is teetering on the brink of a blowout. Complete, brought down, nothing doing. We played a half of football here. Air Force has got a 24-point lead. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Bruce Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. This halftime lead can make a team feel as if the game is over, that they've already done their work, that they put the other guy away. 
but I think the first few minutes of the second half could be paramount if they want to build on this lead and make sure that they finish it with a victory. Well, absolutely. If you come out and you give up a, a score right away, you're talking about making this game within two scores and, and making it a little bit closer than you want it to. So if you can come out, get a stop, get a score, you can put this game out of reach right away. You can make the other side extremely one-dimensional, make them pass happy, and put them in a situation where you know exactly what you're going to get from them. So you got to come out in the first few minutes of the third quarter, establish yourself, and shut that door of any hope for the other side. Just about set to start the second half. What are you looking for? I'm looking to see which team has that decided schematical advantage. And if they can find it, they'll blow holes three or four axe handles wide. Brad and Kirk will be there to call the second half. Welcome back, everybody. Second half action about to begin. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Falcons continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Steps up into the pocket, and they've got it. That makes it 70 14. So it'll be second and 14 after the setback. Seven yard line. There's very good chemistry between these two. They like to run through all their routes before the game. And I have to say, they look sharp before this one even started. Let's go. Motion, motion, motion. Throws incomplete. That is textbook pass defense. As soon as the ball hit the receiver's hands, he was all over. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 37. heavy pressure good job here by the defense if you let this quarterback set and throw he'll kill you all game but they got excellent pressure on that play and he's level at the 45 yard line he's a solid blocker but as he showed right there on third down he also has soft hands for a big guy He's got it with room to run. There's another pass to the tight end, and he's got it. He ran a good route there and was able to pick up yards underneath the coverage. It's okay to move the ball in small portions because it relaxes the offense and can open things up for the big play. And he's hit immediately. Good job here by the receiver to look the ball in and ensure he had possession. That's the right way to catch a pass. Check 83, ball going to 83. Mike Zick. And they'll bring him down behind the line. We're at play number nine of this current drive. And he throws it away. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. Third down, and they need to get it down to the 20. And he has it on the corner. And down he goes at the 21-yard line. It was a well-designed and executed pattern, but on third down and forever, it just wasn't enough. That's good for a game of four yards. First down. Three down, three down. Mike, 36. Mike, 36. Yeah, yeah, the way he's going. Most of 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 most
That makes it first and goal. Watch 36, 36 to Mike. Touchdown, Wildcats. It shouldn't have surprised these guys to see the run coming in, but they just couldn't stop it. So the kicker's going to stay on the sidelines. These guys will try for a two-point conversion. And they won't get the two. It was a 13-play, 74-yard drive. But the failed two-point conversion keeps it a six-point score. The score now, 24-6. Arizona to kick this one off. And they can forget about returning this one. It's a new possession for this offense, so what will it hold? And he makes it out to about the 27-yard line. That's a game of two on one play. That, that makes, makes it second, second and eight. eight. Second and eight coming up here. Ball on the 27. Three down, three down. Three down, three down. 24 is a run. Tackled after a decent pickup. That's a game of six on the play. play. That'll bring up third and two. Double tight, guys. Double tight. Three down, three down. Hey, check mic 33. Check mic 33. Run, 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 run. You know, these big fullbacks aren't usually going to make a lot of moves on you. But when the linemen can give them some room, we can churn out some big yards. From their own 37-yard line. First down. Tackle at the 38. Gain of one on the play. That brings up second and nine. Man left, man left. Three down, three down. Hey! He gets rid of this one. They'll line it up again on third down. Three down, three down. Hey, check by 33. Check by 33. Set. Green. Wants to go long and done. And he's got the junior. Touchdown saving tackle, but it leaves him with a first and goal. It's first down, and they'll bring it up first and goal inside the five. He's taken down right around the two-yard line. Gain of two on the play. That brings up second and goal. And this is the eighth play of the drive. They're crowding the line. Got it, son. Ready. He tackles him for a loss. That is a loss of one yard. That makes it third and goal. So here we go. It's third and goal from the two-yard line. Touchdown, Falcons. There are some guys, when they get near the goal line, they just have a knack for getting the ball into the end zone. That's what we saw right there. And he adds the extra point. A nine-play, 76-yard drive. And they add seven points to the scoreboard. So the score now, 31-6. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. I was really impressed with their last series. They came out with a focus on the passing game, and the offense got the job done. We'll see if they have the same strategy here. Caught with room to work. He's tackled at the 30. And he 
his tackle right around the 38-yard line. Nice pickup as they connect on the pass play. Well, they look to be in sync right now. They're both reading the defense properly, and the result is a nice game. Quick throw to the tight end. Knocked out of bounds at the 46-yard line. That's good for a gain of eight yards. That makes it second and two. Watch 36. 36 to Mike. They're going to need some therapy after this. Damn. New Damn. Slings it out and it gets tipped. You like a team that's ready to defend the pass. It takes some preparation to get in the way of a pass like that. So it's third down and they've got about two yards to go. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. And he's taken down at the 48 yard line. Game of six on the play. First down. Five wide. He passes it. And a nice catch there before he stepped out of bounds. Game of 22 yards. First down. It's just me and you. 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 And they make the stop at the 11. Game 15 on the play. That makes it first and 10. They come out in a five wide set. From the 11 yard line, it's second down. He scrambled, and he hits him hard at the 17-yard line. That'll bring up third and long. Here's play number 10 on the drive. Hey, let's get that ball here. Let's get that ball right here. Watch 36. 36 to Mike. So at the end of the third quarter, the Falcons lead 31-6. Just about set to start the fourth quarter, mercifully. Three down, three down. I got one, I got one, I got one. Hey, check my Good throw, caught, touchdown. He makes the PAT. And he's taken down at the 43 yard line. Fred, this is my kind of game. I love seeing this kind of production and the way these quarterbacks are playing. Both teams are challenging both of these defenses. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. And they get nice yardage on that run. That'll make it second and four. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Three down. Hey, check my third. Let's go. Check my third. Tackle made to the 38-yard line. So they wrapped him up before he could get anything going. Yeah, there was nothing there on that option. Nothing flicking there. Let's see if they can make a few adjustments before their next series. It's fourth down. They'll call on the field goal unit. He gets it up, and he got it. They 
they line up to kick this one away. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. It's been a good day for this defensive lineman, really showing off his skills. Well, this is what you call a complete defensive end. He's not just a pass rush specialist. He's done a great job of shedding his blocks, filling in the gaps, and also taking away the running game. And I'll tell you, Brad, I think he's just so big and athletic, he's just a nightmare for this offensive line. They just cannot do a very good job of sustaining blocks against him. And here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. Drop down right around the 28-yard line. They come out in an empty backfield. Quick pass. That's a great tackle at the 37. With the reception. Gain of nine on the play. First down. Bring him down at the 41. That makes it second and six. They'll spread the field with five wide. Kill, kill. Yeah. Check three. Check three. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry, and he tackles him hard at midfield. Number five on the tackle at the 50 yard line. First down. First down. It's nailed and it's intercepted. <laughs> it's first and ten. Ball on the thirty five. He fights forward to about the thirty six. Just under three to go in regulation. The running back gets a yard, maybe less. No gain on the play. That'll make it third to nine. From their own 36 yard line, it's third down. Pitches back, gains his way to the 46-yard line. And he is drilled at the 42. First and 10, ball on the 42-yard line. Gets to about the 34-yard line. That's good for gaining three yards. That'll bring up third and six. This one's in the books, and our final score, 34-13, Air Force. Thanks for joining us for another game of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk and everyone here at EA Sports, Fred Nussler saying goodbye, and we'll see you next time.